Item number SCP-2201 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2201 is stored in a Standard Safe Class Anomalous Item Containment Locker located at Site 118 Gamma Wing. Researchers wishing to test the item should submit a request form to Dr. Luth, the current head of Site 118 Gamma Wing. All researchers testing SCP-2201 should take note of the current schedule of testing to ensure that a month has passed since the last test. Description SCP-2201 has a tin coin roughly 3 centimeters in diameter. The obverse is that with a pair of hair styling scissors and a straight laser crossed against each other. The reversed features a stylized inscription that state the La Barbera, along with a line of text that reads, For the best in the world and beyond. When any male is holding the coin in his hand and firmly states the words, I could really use a haircut, the individual immediately disappears and reappears within SCP-22011. SCP-22011 is an anomalous building resembling a 1930s barbershop. The location of the barbershop is currently unknown as all attempts at tracking it have failed. SCP-22011 is currently only reachable through the use of SCP-2201. The actual door in SCP-22011 does not open. NSCP-22012 SCP-22012 is a humanoid entity that refers to itself as Giuseppe. SCP-22012 states that it is the owner and the only barber of SCP-22011. Once an individual enters SCP-22011, SCP-22012 will always be found rearranging tools on its table but will immediately turn and ask the individual what they would like. SCP-22012 speaks the language that the subject is most comfortable speaking in. Regardless of the language, SCP-22012 possesses a thick Sicilian accent, but is capable of fluently speaking any language tested. SCP-22012 is generally polite and courteous. Though it will often brush off questions regarding the location of SCP-22011 or other questions that it deems too intrusive. SCP-22012 is capable of fulfilling any requests made to it that are in line with the functions of a mundane barbershop, along with more integrated functions of barbershops, such as teeth removal or surgery. SCP-22012 has been noted to perform any requested functions extremely well. In one instance, SCP-22012 was able to shave D28091's facial hair to within 5 micrometers of the requested length for the shave. When the requested operation has been carried out, SCP-22012 will thank the subject for coming and will snap its fingers, causing the subject to be returned to the location where they originally used SCP-2201. Female subjects cannot use SCP-2201. When questioned as to why it only accepts males, SCP-2012 scoffs and refuses to answer the question. In addition, should any individual attempt to use SCP-22012 before 30 days have passed since last use, the subject will hear the voice of SCP-22012 in the mind, stating it's not time yet. SCP-2201 was discovered on December 2nd, 1882, during a raid of a Basho, Carter, and Dark warehouse. SCP-2201 was promised as an item that would give perfect grooming for the esteemed gentleman. During the first activation of SCP-2201, SCP-22012 was noted to appear identical to the modern-day activation of SCP-2201. It has been noted that 
SCP-22011 itself resembled a 19th century barbershop as opposed to its modern appearance. Interview Log 2201A The following interview was completed by Agent Ethan Lang in an attempt to acquire more information about SCP-2201. Morning, Giuseppe. Ah, welcome, Ethan. What will be it today? Just the usual. Give me a clean shave today. I've got some time. I want it very clean. Of course, of course. You know how I run to this shop, Ethan. He won't be disappointed. Do you mind if I ask you some questions while you are doing your work? I don't mind. What is on your mind? What exactly is this place? It's a barber shop. Is that not obvious? You've come here long enough to know that much, I would hope. <laughs> uh, yes, and uh, where are we? Is this on Earth somewhere? In a way, I suppose. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, how long have you been a barber for? And why? Since I was a little boy, my father taught me the trade and how to run the business, how to cut hair, shave beards, style hair, trim tentacles, wax purposey, you know. His father taught it to him, and his father taught him, and so on. I'm a barber because it's what I can do. So why has this place not changed? It seems like this place used to change to fit the times quite often. People just don't go to barber shops like they used to. What with all these new salons, tender clips? Do people appreciate a classic barber shop anymore? I keep that spirit alive. I see. Did you ever have other barbers here? <sighs> Once, yes. There used to be a lot of barbers here doing all sorts of work. Now it's just me, catering through those who can still find the coins. Aside from Signor Dark, Signor Entertainment, and some of the others, there aren't many regulars from where you are. Hmm, Signor Entertainment? It's a favor to a father. I knew him quite well, and I had to give him a favor somehow. And it looks like we're done here. Thank you for coming, Ethan. It was good talking to you.